The Wholesome Direct was amazing. There were over 70 announced games that are all about cozy and cute vibes. I decided to compile 16 of the best games that are coming to the Nintendo Switch. These games fall into many genres from farming to building to puzzling, so there is something for everyone. By the way, I'm Miss Bubbles, welcome to the video. If you enjoy RPG and life sim games, make sure to squish the sub and like buttons because there are a lot of fun videos that are coming out soon. Amber Isle is a village full of friendly prehistoric residents who are in need of a shopkeeper. And that shopkeeper is you. You will be able to craft and sell items, upgrade your shop, befriend the neighbors, and customize the island. The art style looks super adorable and the colors give such a cozy vibe. If there are virtual dinosaurs that require my help, you bet your bum that I'm gonna help them out. Bear and Breakfast takes you on a journey of a laid-back bear called Hank who manages a bed and breakfast inn found in the woods. You are accompanied by Hank's friends as they find an abandoned shack and try to turn it into a money-making business for unsuspecting tourists. You also meet various characters along the way and uncover secrets found in the woods. I love that the game looks charming in its own way. It does not have to bring overly bright colors to look interesting. Oh, and you can customize your inn and make it as cozy or as crazy as you want it to be. I'm really looking forward for this one. Dreamland Confection Confectionary is a narratively driven exploration game about baking desserts to transform your world. You go on a journey throughout the land to reclaim a lost childhood dream with the help of a vibrant cast of old friends. You get to scavenge for ingredients, explore, hang out with, and meet new friends to bring the world back to life. The game looks super fun, but I wonder why it's taking until 2023 to come out. But hey, I'm not gonna complain or lie, I'm really excited for this one. Fire Tonight is a narrative puzzle game about bringing two people together, Maya and Devin, in a city that is literally on fire. The game is set in 1990 before cell phones and internet were an easy way to connect with people. So in this journey, the question is, will they both find each other before the city is engulfed by fire? Garden Story is a top-down adventure where you play as a grape named Concord. How cool is that? You're literally a grape in this game. And you are basically trying to help protect and reconstruct a struggle community by exploring, crafting, building, making friends, and solving puzzles. The game looks like Littlewood and Forager had a baby and created this new story that I can't wait to be released. Here Comes Nico is a 3D cozy platformer for tired people. That's me 24-7. You play as Nico, who travels across six scenic islands as she makes new friends, catches fish, snags bugs, and has to listen to her boss, who is a frog. The game has a Mario Sticker Star vibe going for it and looks very colorful and cute. Creature Kind is a wholesome card battler deck builder game about helping monsters. There is no killing in this title. The heroes have found magic swords which help enhance their abilities. And these heroes are really good with abilities like hugging, listening, and sharing memories. How cute is that? The campaign is story focused and emphasizes the need for love and kindness in the world. I'm usually not too fond of card games, but this one definitely looks like a cute one that I surely do want to try. In Cocopa's Atlas, you play as Cocopa, a clumsy but wannabe hero that is traversing a procedurally generated planet that he crashed into. You get to plot, design, and build around the world and watch out for potential dangers on the unknown planet. As you start exploring the area, you stumble across various non-playable characters that are just living their lives. Some are friendly, but some are aggressive. You get to gear up, find a nice area to settle down, assist in terraforming, and expand your farm. This game gave me Kataria Fables vibes and it looks very adorable. Letters is a hand-drawn pixelated word puzzle game that takes you back to the 1990s. You help shape up Sarah, the protagonist, and decide how her future will be. You get to make decisions on her behalf as she slowly eases her way into adulthood. The developers promise a branching coming-of-age storyline where you can explore different possibilities and opportunities. Lego Builder's Journey is an isometric atmospheric puzzle game. You get to explore the Lego brick world in an accurately rendered title that also brings ray tracing elements. You will go through an up and down narrative while you face challenges as well as celebrations. 
Sometimes you are asked to follow the instructions, while other times you are asked to literally break them. I wonder how this one will run on the Switch. I hope it does well because it looks like it's gonna be a really fun and relaxing game to play. Mythic Ocean is an atmospheric underwater adventure where you are friends with the gods and can influence them in their decision making. You will be on a narrative adventure where you meet many goofy characters and influence the fate of the universe. There is no combat, nor death, nor failure. It's just you, the gods, and the decisions that you make. And there's apparently a crab that breakdances. So yeah, the game is already out on Steam and has positive feedback, and the Switch already got a demo that you can try right now. Outbound Ghost is an adventure game set in a haunted village. You play as a ghost trying to figure out the reason why they died, as they help others come to terms with the afterlife as well. The town is full of newly murdered spirits who are still clinging onto their past life's baggage. It kind of feels like it has the spirit fair vibes going in the fact that you have the responsibility to deal with the ghosts. However, this one does its own thing where the world is 3D but the ghosts are 2D. It just looks very charming and I look forward to it. Miho is born as a fox but has lived most of her life observing humans and trying to understand their culture. She is a thief that always takes advantage of people and has seen how terrible humans can be. However, this is all about to change as she meets Aspen and Juliet, who will teach her about friendship, love, and kindness. Please Be Happy is a visual novel that lets you explore two ending routes. You play as Momo, a former big city kitty who decided to quit their typical 9 to 5 job. You go to a cursed island and try to make it lively again with the island caretaker's help. You can farm, fish, build, gather craft, and meet new characters. I have been waiting for Snacko to release for a while and I am happy to see that it has not been abandoned. The developers promise that you can play whichever way you want and you can explore a beautiful world. Oh and by the way, there are fluffy cows. Witchery Academy is a life simulator game about a wizard apprentice. You get to attend classes to train your magical abilities further, grow and harvest crops, catch and collect spell creatures, befriend other apprentices, customize your character as well as your companion cat, and explore the surroundings of the academy. You can forage, cook, catch bugs, and so much more. This one, I got my hawk bubbly eyes on. I really, really want to play this one. I've been waiting for a game that is all about being a witch and yeah. Just give me the game, please, and thank you. <laughs> we Are OFK is an interactive making of the band game all about dreaming, dating, and paying rent in LA. The game offers fully voice-acted interactive dialogue where you experience five episodes of the animated series. The members will argue over song lyrics, send sad texts, go through heartbreak and so much more. I've never played or experienced something like this, but I think I might give it a try and see how the story will shape up. Let's talk in the comment section and let me know which game has caught your eye. You could have been doing anything, but you chose to spend some wholesome time with me and that is really awesome. All I want to say is remember to stay bubbly, stay positive, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!